This is Wilson Rothman from MSNBC.com, and I'm here to show off a very interesting new Android phone, the Kyocera Echo from Sprint. Now, it's called an Echo because there's not one, but two screens, as you can see, one up top here, one down below. You can configure it easily so that you just look at the one screen, just like a standard phone, but if you need that extra room for maybe typing underneath, here you can go into messaging and say pull up a keyboard and then type with the stuff on top. If you go load the msnbc.com app, of course this is not an app written specifically for two screens, but you can see you get more space here to, to browse through. Telenav, their navigation app lets you view search information up top while keeping your eye on the map down below. It could be handy for people who like to visually locate where they're going, but to be honest, I can't really see too much of a necessity for that second screen once I'm driving. If I want to watch a movie trailer on IMDb, where does it load? Right in the middle. Very awkward here. There are some other bits of awkwardness. For instance, when you have the camera, when you hold it, you're naturally predisposed to hold it like this, but that's blocking the camera itself. You see, right here is where I would naturally hold it, and it's covering up the camera. Uh, once you take a picture and you want to look at it, it puts it right in the middle of the screen, too. I thought that was a very bizarre choice of programming. The burden is now on Sprint and Kyocera to bring developers here to make new apps to work on two-screen phones. But since there are no other two-screen phones, it's sort of a chicken-and-egg dilemma. Sprint has already signed on Namco and a few other significant game companies to produce their content. With games like Pac-Man and The Sims on board, the Kyocera Echo may have a chance of drawing some gamers. But then again, the gaming world already does have a two-screen dynamo. It's called the Nintendo DS. For MSNBC.com, I'm Wilson Rothman.